What's up everybody, welcome back. A little while ago, it's actually been a couple of years, but a couple of years ago I did this Tacoma grill for my truck. And one of my biggest concerns with it was that the paint was gonna eventually chip off the chrome because paint doesn't like to stick to chrome. Uh, the reason it doesn't like to stick to chrome is because chrome is, is essentially a metal and it's harder to get good grooves in for the paint to stick to on chrome, so it oftentimes will chip up over time. And that's kind of what's happened with the grill. Let me show you. So originally the paint looked really good, but over time as rocks have came up and as it's gotten a little bit more weathered, there have been different rock chips that have came up and little areas where the paint started to chip off, especially up here at the top corners, up on the top of it. So it's definitely time to repaint it. Um, I decided this time I'm gonna plasti dip it just because I wanna see if the plasti dip will hold up a little bit better than the paint. Here's how this is gonna work. First thing I'm gonna do is take some masking tape to mask up all the black area, including these corners on the side. And then once everything's masked up and I'm not gonna get any overspray onto the black area, I'm gonna take some sandpaper. I'm gonna sand down this current layer of paint. Um, I may not take it all the way down to the chrome, but all these areas that have started to chip up, I'm gonna make sure I cover those, sand those down. And then the last step is gonna be taking some Plasti Dip, spraying probably four or five good coats of Plasti Dip over the top of the grill, hopefully filling up any of those uneven areas of paint. and then we'll be done. So let's get started.
All right, that is it. That is how you Plasti dip the grill of a 2009 Toyota Tacoma, um, or really any Tacoma, or really anything. Plasti dip is super easy. The nice thing about it is if something happens and you want to peel it off, it's just a rubberized material, so you can peel it off whenever you want to. Um, or if you mess up, so it's pretty forgiving. It's not quite as precise as if I were to have painted it, but it covers up all the areas that were starting to chip. And I was curious about the plastic dip anyway. I wanted to see how it held up over time, so we'll see uh, how it holds up. If it starts to peel or anything like that, I may end up having to repaint it again, but only time will tell. I think the total project maybe cost me like 12 bucks. It's like six bucks a can for the plastic dip. I'll link those down in the video description below. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, thanks a ton for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos. I'll see you next time.